gigantic liquid water resources, abundant breathable air, and a fauna that has developed the most diverse branches over millions of years. For a long time, our Earth was considered unique in terms of these characteristics. In the meantime, however, we know that our earthly home is by no means the only cosmic water reservoir. With the help of spectroscopic analyses, experts have succeeded in proving that water exists even in those distant galaxies whose light has been traveling to our blue home planet for more than 12 billion years. In other words, this means nothing other than that the valuable raw material was already present when the Big Bang occurred less than 2 billion years ago. Although the Earth still represents the galactic ultimate in terms of its enormous liquid water accumulations, this too could change in the course of future exploration missions. In particular, the icy moons in the outer regions of the solar system are considered hot candidates when it comes to the question of huge subterranean oceans. The water resources in their different aggregate states on Mars are far less impressive. However, the latest findings of the experts now suggest the exciting conclusion that the red planet is in fact not as dry as its surface of iron oxide dust might suggest at first glance. What the researchers discovered in detail on our neighboring planet and which other known celestial bodies are possibly full-grown water worlds will show you in the following video. Excited about compelling discoveries and fascinating spectacles in space? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to never miss one of our videos again. By giving us a thumbs up, you're motivating us and showing that we can keep you engaged with the content of our posts. Water Ice Under the Surface of Mars 2,500 miles long, 4 miles deep, and 420 miles wide, the fact that the Valles Marineris of Mars are referred to as the Grand Canyon of the Red Planet doesn't actually do justice to the imposing Rift Valley system. In reality, the dimensions of Valles Marineris are many times greater than the world-famous canyon in the U.S. state of Arizona. It is one of the largest known Rift Valley systems in the entire solar system. As exciting as the natural shape of the Valles Marineris may seem, what hides beneath this rugged plain could actually be much more spectacular. At least that's what the sensational news recently leaked to the public from the ranks of experts suggests. The gripping news is, just a few feet below the enormous Rift Valley system, water ice could be slumbering and in quantities that the experts had never dared to dream of beforehand. At any rate, this is the result of research based on data collected by ESA's Trace Gas Orbiter. This orbiter, known as TGO for short, was developed in cooperation operation with the Russian space agency Roscosmos. One of the most important tasks of the unmanned spacecraft is the investigation of methane and its decay products, and whether these have possible biological causes. Thus it came about that the TGO left our blue home planet on March 14, 2016, and entered the orbit of our cosmic neighbor in October of the same year. In addition to highly sensitive spectrometers, infrared instruments, and a high-resolution camera. FRIEND is among the instruments with which the orbiter was equipped in the run-up to the mission. In detail, this is a neutron detector designed to identify deposits of water ice at a depth of up to three feet below the planet's surface. The ultimate goal is to produce a comprehensive water ice map of the red planet. And indeed, TGO recently achieved a resounding success in this regard. The analysis of the FRIEND data revealed high hydrogen concentrations under the region called Candor Chaos. The corresponding area is in turn located in the immediate vicinity of the center of Valles Marineris. The analysis of the data supplied so far suggests that the subsurface water ice deposits on Mars could have certain parallels to the permafrost regions of our Earth. It's well known that the corresponding water ice is permanently preserved under the dry ground there as a result of constant low temperatures. In fact, the use of the TGO could revolutionize the search for water ice on Mars. While previous missions have only allowed experts to search for traces of this chemical compound on the dust-covered surface of the red planet, TGO's instruments now give experts a glimpse into deeper areas. If the hydrogen discovered is indeed in the form of water ice, it would mean that this compound 
could make up as much as 40% of the near-surface material in the region. While this exciting discovery could already add another interesting piece of the puzzle to the overall picture of the red planet, more observations are needed to fully clarify what form the water just below the surface of Mars actually takes. Regardless of the nature of the discovery, the data collected so far proves that the use of the TGO holds completely new, promising exploration possibilities. Liquid Water in the Solar System The total liquid water resource of a celestial body is known in the scientific community as the aquasphere. In theory, this can come in a wide variety of sizes. For example, it's possible for liquid water to completely surround a planet. In the case of a regionally limited aquasphere, which we also find on our earthly home, the liquid water accumulations can only survive in certain regions of the celestial body. So that the water can exist at all in durable liquid form, the astronomical object must be in the habitable zone of its ancestral system. This means the distance range in which the corresponding water neither evaporates nor freezes due to the influence of the central star. In in fact, liquid water could only be detected on two celestial bodies of the solar system so far, on Earth and on Mars. Presumably, the surface of Venus was also once adorned by liquid water, but this probably dried up there 3.5 billion years ago. But even if direct evidence has not yet been provided, experts agree that it's highly probable that four satellites in particular in the outer regions of the solar system harbor liquid water accumulations of unimaginable dimensions. Jupiter's moons, Ganymede and Europa, and Saturn's satellites, Enceladus and Titan. However, it's assumed that the respective water deposits are subterranean and very deep. In other words, hidden many miles below the surfaces covered by ice. In the case of Europa, the thickness of the subglacial ocean is estimated to be as much as 60 miles. Thus, it's very likely that convection currents are forming within the subsurface ocean, causing the overlying ice layers to move. We probably find a similar scheme on Ganymede. Here, however, the liquid water deposit could exist in a kind of chamber system. This means that the individual water ice layers of the moon are separated from each other by liquid water layers many miles thick. Liquid water outside the solar system First, the sobering news. So far, no direct indications of liquid water deposits have been registered within the Milky Way beyond the solar system. However, this does not necessarily mean that our more remote galactic neighbors definitely do not harbor water in a permanently liquid form. Some of the 5,000 exoplanets discovered so far are considered promising candidates when it comes to the question of celestial bodies that are partially or even completely enveloped by liquid water and are thus considered potentially habitable. Captain B, for example, also belongs to this group of cosmic candidates. Discovered in 2014, the exoplanet orbits its namesake host star about 13 light years from our sun. Since the planet, which orbits its central star in about 48 days, is located within the habitable zone of its system, it is therefore possible that constant liquid water accumulations exist there. However, the information gathered so far cannot yet provide a valid answer to the question of whether life-friendly conditions actually prevail on Captain B. The fact that there is a hypothetical existence of an aquasphere is not clear. However, the case of the super-Earth Gliese 1214b shows that the theoretical existence of an aquasphere is not always accompanied by life-favorable conditions. This extrasolar celestial body, which orbits at a distance of 48 light-years in the constellation of the Serpent Bearer, is considered a potential ocean planet. It's a hitherto undetected form of planet whose surface is completely covered by liquid water. Thus, data from the Hubble Space Telescope suggests that Gliese 1214b's atmosphere is composed primarily of water vapor. However, because the planet orbits its host star, the red dwarf GJ1214, at a distance of just 0.014 astronomical units, or about 1.2 million miles, blisteringly hot temperatures very likely prevail on this celestial body. In detail, the presumed equilibrium temperature is put at a value between 250 and 540 degrees Fahrenheit. If Gliese 1214b is truly covered by gigantic seas, it would probably be boiling hot oceans. In any case, we are already looking with bated breath at those hitherto hidden water deposits on alien celestial bodies 
that may one day be discovered in the course of exploration missions. As soon as the experts succeed in making another exciting observation, we will report it to you on our channel. Now it's your turn. What do you think about the exciting discovery of the trace gas orbiter and the suspected liquid water deposits on other celestial bodies? Just drop us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments. Finally, feel free to take a look at the other exciting posts on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the thumbnails in the credits now. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.